early in the morning <clears throat> on August 2nd. It's about 4 o'clock in the morning, a little after. And I just blended Petunia's Nursery with Holly's Nursery. Actually, I didn't do it. Holly did it. They were in separate birthing, birthing um, nursing beds. And uh, I've been hand feeding Holly's little preemie boy. He's now on day, well, he'll be um, on day eight very soon. The little boy's right under here, I'm trying to keep him warm. He's right there. I don't know if you can see him sleeping. I, I fed him so he went to sleep. He is nursing on her. I don't think she's producing enough. I just want to make sure he stays warm. And I've been nursing this little girl. Boy. Not sure which. <laughs> I think it's a boy. I call it a girl. I've <laughs> been nursing her since day one. Um, she's just now starting to nurse on her mom, but not very well. So, um, she likes the fast syringe nipple right here, <laughs> and uh, the, uh, Petunia's babies are on day 17. She's, or I'm going to just call her a she, even though it's probably a he. That's, <laughs> she looks a mess right now, but, um... <laughs> she's really, she's a bicolor hemi, a seal bicolor hemi, and the dark you're seeing is actually skin tone, not, um, not, um, see all the dark that's on the skin. So she's a bicolor. Um, the white fur is covering it up a little bit, not much because you can see the dark on her paw. And uh, Holly's being very loving to the baby, so I'll just keep a watch. There's two in the back, nursing on Petunia. Probably going to be hard to see in here. Um, there's a blue and white bicolor boy. And a, a very big, I believe it's a seal and white bicolor boy. So I believe all of Petunia's babies were boys. This one. When she hears me or sees me, I might need to feed her a little bit more because she didn't drink all of it. She still got some left. She's an extreme face. It's, I should say it's a he because it, I know it is a he. Extreme face hemi. Yeah, see, I'm a character. Through the walls, I hear Iris, who's pregnant and due in a couple of weeks, trying to get out of the bathroom. <laughs> Sweet baby. Sweet baby. He was spoiled rotten because... She's been hand fed the whole time. She's got both moms watching her. And so her fur is actually white. But her skin tone would be like a bicolor. Oh, I don't know if you can see. She just got done nursing over there. There's the blue and white. Let's see if I can bring her out more into the light. This is a big bed. And, uh, there. See her better. He, I mean, he. <laughs> and then over here, don't want that little baby to be squished. 
he, I'll bring him out. I think, let me see if I can get my camera to focus. Oh, he's, he's, he's out. <laughs> um, he's either going to be a blue point or um, a chocolate point or a lilac. I'm starting to lean more towards lilac, and I probably will have to put, um, uh-oh, probably will have to put him back in his own bed, because these guys are a lot bigger. This is her big, 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 um, who's by color, Hemi, and she's been nursing on her mom, probably since a couple of days into, um, birth. So I just think there's right now there's too much difference in the size to um, leave him in here. But Holly's kind of bored all by herself and she sees these other babies and she really wants to be a mommy to them. Look at that. Isn't that sweet? Petunia's over here eating. So it's a good break for Petunia to have somebody to help her with her babies. Maybe get... Oh, yeah, look at that. Maybe help, because Petunia doesn't really have enough milk. That's why I've been hand, partially hand-feeding the blue and white by color that's going to Holly right now. The other one just is spoiled. <laughs> I would rather have the syringe. I don't know if you can see her playing back there. So these are the two litters and what happened to have Holly um, have preemie is I'm not sure but both mothers Leone got to when they were pregnant. I didn't know he um, he was still young. He's not even a year old, and I didn't think he knew how to mate, and I was wrong. And so, in each case, the mothers had undeveloped fetuses that threw their hormones way off. And so, when they had their babies, they didn't. Their bodies didn't tell them that they had the babies, and so they weren't ready to be mommies and nursing. So I had to hand feed, and. Um, it took Petunia probably about a week in to get her mother's skills back. She's usually been an excellent mom. And this was so unlike her, but that's why. And same with Holly. Uh, she's an excellent mom too. Very protective, actually, mom. And um, because of the undeveloped fetuses, her hormones were all off. And as you can tell, she's getting her mothering skills back. It's this little baby's on day, oh, uh, it's day eight, just started day eight. Doing really well, gaining weight. Um, I supplement feed. So <clears throat> I think it's he's getting spoiled also. Winning, um, the syringe nipple because it's the milk comes fast. So uh, as long as petunias are right with Holly helping, that little baby actually did not want to stay on Holly. But Holly wants to mommy. So since her baby's doing so well, so really since her her baby was about a week premature, so. Um, it's almost like a, a newborn in a way, even though it's not a newborn. Its size is about the size of a newborn. So I'm not sure. I'm going to wait a little bit longer and stay here, and even though it's in the middle of the night, and uh, just make sure I want to keep this little baby with these bigger babies. The little bigger babies are walking now. I'm 
And that's what's going on with Holly. She just didn't want to be in that bed. I got woken up by her trying to, I heard her trying to get out of the birthing bed because I have to keep her under lock <laughs> in it. So her mother instincts are coming back. What you doing, sweetie pie? So we've been very tired and very busy with feeding around the clock for two weeks now, over two weeks now. So we haven't had a chance to do videos or even pictures or update our website. <laughs> but you can see more of these babies and our other babies that we have on the ground at victoriangardenscattery.com. And to know more, we also, under uh, the video, we have a description section so you can find out more about the litters. And, um, and there's usually links there. So, um, we're going to say goodbye for now. They're getting ready to go to bed. And I'm ready to go back to bed. <laughs> it's been a hard, hard um, couple of weeks on my body, I know that. We just had three kittens leave yesterday, so it should make it a little bit easier. We're weaning Cosmos' babies, which it's not been easy because they don't want to wean. He's a really cutie pie. I think he's going to be an extreme face. I think he's going to be a blue point, a non-bicolor blue point. What you looking at, baby? I think that the um, bicolor hemis are very exotic looking, not as in the term exotic Persian, but just exotic looking. And I wish um, it was a little bit brighter in here so you could see them in the back, but... Oh, what? Are you looking for your mommy? Now, I haven't had in the past that Holly takes over a litter, and I don't want that to happen here, so I'll probably have Holly go back to her birthing bed. I don't want this to happen. He's a tiny little tot compared to them. Yep. Holly. 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 You have to go back to your bed, okay? Your baby's too small to be around these big babies. Here comes Petunia. Getting ready. She had a little break and ate and cleaned herself and ready now to clean her babies. So down the road they'll be blended, but for right now I think it's best that we keep them separated. This baby needs to be warm and in a smaller birthing bed with Holly right next to him, he can stay warm. Yeah, I think he's going to be a blue point. She's back to nursing that baby. Petunia. Petunia. She's always been a good mom. It's just the first week that having two pregnancies run at the same time in her body was just messed her hormones up. But she's back to normal being a good mommy. So those are our upstairs litters in our nursery upstairs.
with our two mommies, Holly and Petunia. And Petunia's three babies, two bicolor Hemis and one bicolor blue and white Persian. And Holly's little Hemi, eight day old Primi, Primi. Hemi, which I think is going to be a blue point. Sleeping nice and soundly after he got fed. So they all look like they're settling down. I don't even know if you can see that they're all... There's one right there asleep. See how exotic they look? They always have black rimmed eyes. And then the blue point, you can't see the face. Blue point Persian. I mean in the blue. Blue and white by color Persian back there. So we're going to say goodbye for now from Victorian Gardens Cattery and Holly's and Petunia's nursery. Bye!